Welcome to McFlanagan's. What do you like to drink? I like some of the new black stuff. I mean, thanks for the Guinness and everything, but I wanted the black stuff. Does there seem to be a problem over here? I'm looking for the four new scents of the black stuff. Ah, uh, wait just a minute. Dog Bay Beach, Ginger Honey Tea, Eucalyptus on Ice, and The Good Room. Now that's the black stuff. Welcome to the Nomadic King Channel. I'm James Showers, cleanest name in the biz, and today I'm joined with... Yo, Ching! We also have our scent specialist, Cuddles, and today we're going to be taking a look at four new soaps from the black stuff. In these soap reviews, we do a few things. Do an up-close look at the label, product itself, dive in information, scent notes, lather the soap, and give our opinion at the end. So if you're ready, we're ready. Grab your favorite scented soap, and let's enjoy the show. A real quick look at the boxes before we get to the soap. As you can see, we have the Black Stuff logo on the top left, a sniff window, the name of the soap, and a little description about the scent. On the back, there is a story along with some ingredients. Now the soaps themselves are looking pretty nice, fairly uniform, and each one of them have their own distinct color and grit profile. I've been told this translates to very much sharp, but it does need to be sharpened because I've been chopping a bunch of soap and Yuk Ching typically tends to our cutlery. I'm gonna chop a small piece off of each one of these soaps. That's gonna let us try them all out in the shower and also get it ready for the lather station in this video. Now all four of these bars are gonna have a base set of ingredients. Shea butter, the saponified oils from the olive, coconut, palm, and castor plants. The first soap we're looking at is eucalyptus on ice. It's a eucalyptus peppermint scent made up from Lang Lang, peppermint, eucalyptus, and lemon essentials. It'll have a heavy exfoliation from the peppermint leaves, oatmeal, and volcanic pumice. Other ingredients include the menthol crystals and blue mica for some color. Now the ginger honey tea is a complex scent made up of ginger, black pepper, and lavender, along with some clove, bergamot, and lime. It has a light exfoliation from the sieved oatmeal and other ingredients like Irish tea and a green mica for some color. It's time to move on to the good room. Black pepper with orange top notes from the essentials of sweet orange, black pepper, cedarwood, bergamot, and clove. It has a light exfoliation from the sieved oatmeal and other ingredients like honey and activated charcoal. We'll finish this off with some wild berries and sand dunes. That's the Dog Bay Beach scent profile made up of sweet oranges, juniper, black spruce, patchouli, and cinnamon. It's got a medium exfoliation from the oatmeal and volcanic pumice and it also has ingredients like seaweed, spirulina, and blue mica for color. Moving along to the lather station, we'll make this part fairly quick. I've wet in the soap, and as you can see right here, it does slick up quite nicely. That's what you'd like to see from a good quality soap. I'm gonna wet it up again and see if we can get a thicker bubble. After a few scrubs, we do get a nice consistent lather here. It's fairly thick, it's clean, and we got some nice light crisp bubbles as well. Welcome back from that up close look at the label, product itself. All right, we're gonna smell each one of these scents, tell you which one we like the most to the least, and then we also have their other scents, and we'll do the complete tier list. So if you're looking into this company, wondering which soap to get, if you uh, trust our opinion, then you can follow this tier list. Okay, first up on the list is The Good Room. Now, this has got a very interesting scent here. Uh, tell the people what you think about that. Oh, I like it. You smell like a ginger root. I love it because it's not sweet. You smell like it's so natural. It's like a like a mom or grandma. She has lots of like different scents for cooking, like different like a herb, including ginger root. That's how the room should be like. So this thing has got that sweeter notes coming in with the uh, the honey, and I like the black pepper definitely. Um, mellows it out. You smelling ginger on there? I yeah. don't think there's any ginger in this one at all. It's like an orange citrus oh, yeah. yes, um, yes. drink mix and I was gonna throw it in the water. This is what the powder yeah. smells like. It's good. good. Awesome. And next one up is the uh, Dog Beach Rum. Dog Bay, Bay Beach. Dog Bay Beach. Interesting scent. It's kind of bitter but I like it. It's a, it's a natural scent oh. to it for sure. I like it. Yeah. We've used a lot of their soaps already and the soap is actually really good and all their scents are pleasing. So even if it does make the least of our tier list, it's still a good soap. Is there some almonds in there? I don't think there's any almonds, but there's that seaweed in there. Now I think the seaweed really kind of gives it some of that color. A wild berry sand dune scent is how they're kind of describing it here. I'm gonna put it behind the uh, good room. I like the good room a little bit more. What do you get to over here? And we got the ginger honey tea. This is a real ginger. 
Ooh, that comes through really, really strong. <laughs> it smells like um, dry and old ginger from a different country. Oh yeah, is that good or is that bad? I'm not too sure. How to, how to rate what you just said there? <laughs> I actually think that is kind of cool. Uh, I like it. And this it's one like does lemony. have the Irish tea in it, right? This I is... feel like lemony ginger. Yeah, it uh, ooh, it is strong. Um, I think I'm gonna put it ahead of. Well, I don't know. This one's an interesting scent right here for sure. Now this one's got a really good scent. It's a. Uh, it's got that peppermint, but I think the eucalyptus really kind of grounds this scent and uh, brings it home for me. We got people outside like building a roof or something. Hopefully that doesn't really come through. That's my number one. Because I'm the number I'm one. I'm a wow. person. I like yeah. the refreshed. I don't even think you can see this, to be honest. There we go. That's how the tier list is going right now. We'll move them over. We'll be back in a minute. We got these things set up over here. This is the Bay Rum, the Callaway Bay Rum. Now this is an interesting bay rum. It's got a good, good spice to it. I actually like it quite a bit. Where do you mm -hmm. want to place that? Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere right here. I think the new soap are better and you need. This is the black stout, made with the black stuff itself. Guinness. Mm, it kind of smells like the uh, the room. Oh, this kind of lining up here. Ooh, this one's good. And this is the uh, Irish Mountain. Irish Mountain Rain. I'm actually gonna move that one. No. In. Oh, you sure? I like that one. Ooh, there you go. This is uh, her Hong Kong medicine set. Yes, I love this one. Where do you want to put this? Like this group. Oh, you get to put yours in the middle? Oh, All right, oh this is what I'm doing. I'm moving this. I'm putting this here. This can come ahead of that one. And these can move back here. Last two cents to try. Now this one isn't really my favorite. It's a very strong. It's a, yeah, it's very strong, but it smells better in the shower. To be honest, you do get a good. I do use it a few times in the shower. I will pick it up still. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's different. I mean, it's the Atlantic pine tar, so don't expect a traditional I, pine tar. I I think I like it when I was in the shower. I use it a few times in the shower. I see this. I want to use it again. Can we put that one? Let's put Are that sure? one right here. What do you think? Sure. Okay. And then this is the last one here. Ooh, that one's kind of weird or different. That one's a uh, cedar citrus blast, cedar wood uh, blast. So what do you think about this one? Somewhere here. Somewhere here. I'm gonna put it a little bit ahead of the, is this the stout? Yeah, that's, there we go. Okay, so our tier list consists of eucalyptus on ice, the good room, Wicklow Falls, Irish Mountain Rain, ginger honey tea, I was gonna say delight, the Dog Bay's Beach, Halway Bay Rum, the Atlantic Pine Tar, Citrus Cedarwood Blast, and the Black Stout at the end. So we're thinking about doing a giveaway here where we chop up a bunch of these soaps here and have like a sample pack so we can get all 10 away to a few different winners. If you're interested in that, let me know you're interested in the comments down below so I'll know to make that happen. The scent is not overpowering. Some people might look for fragrance, but these are not like a fragrance, but it's kind of the light, happy, like little healthy feeling special <laughs> difference <laughs> special different happy light feeling okay um yes they're not overpowering but they are strong and they do come through it's not uh, not weak scents and they're definitely amplified in the shower they, they make their own soap correct yeah he makes all of his soaps himself that's actually. why it's One really guy. unique like each of the scents is very unique for me like even we kind of list like this but like i change my mind sometimes yeah so. this is a one-man show making all these soaps and creating these scents so that's kind of cool so if you're supporting a small business when you uh, purchase from these guys right here the black stuff and take a look at their website get their backstory and check out their soap see which one's right for you and uh, give them a try yeah but if you're interested in that sample pack deal let me know in the comments down below like i said you like you share you subscribe you already know how youtube works we'll all see you on the next video peace